Welcome back to the workshop, everybody. So glad you could be with me here today. Walter here at the workbench. So today, we've got a treat, special treat. The Stanley number 39, dado plane. This one happens to be a 3 8 inch. That tells me that it will make a 3 8 inch dado. The interesting thing about this plane is it takes all the guesswork out of making dados. You can make a hundred dados and never have to touch the plane. It has a knicker both here and here. Those I just touched up on the sharpening stone and I sharpened the blade. But it's such a simple tool to use. It takes more time to set up and get it perfect than it does to use. So a dado is basically a cross grain slot that is to a certain depth. You can make these manually by scribing a line with your knife on both sides, taking your chisel and, and cleaning some of that out, scribing again, clean it out, and then take a router plane or even just a chisel and you can pair that out until you're to depth. That's okay if you just need to make one or two, but what if you're making a bunch of something and you need to make a hundred of these? That's where the dado plane comes in. So, how I was taught to do this is you use something straight as a fence and you put that on the line where you want your dado. And then you, you clamp it down. Okay? Your knickers protrude just enough to score the cross grain fibers. So you come in here and you align it vertical and then you push down lightly and you see those score marks from the knickers, okay? Once you go and have those score marks, you then can push through and then back and through. picked kind of a quirky spot on the board to do this, but it's still working. Okay, until the depth stop, right here, completes the cut, and you can't go any further. And there you go. You've got a dado. The worst you might have to do is come in here with a knife, clean it out just a little bit, but for the most part, it's done. Okay? So you can make as many dados as you want with one setup. I hope this was helpful to somebody. So that's the number 39 Stanley dado plane. There are a lot of versions of these out there, a lot of different sizes. And there are even older wooden ones. And the wooden ones basically started out as rebate planes. So let's say you make a three quarter inch rebate plane and all they did was cut in on the side some knickers. And all of a sudden now you have a three quarter inch dado plane. I've also seen them where they take the dado, uh, the uh, rebate plane, and they grind it a certain way so that it has the knickers built into the knife. And that works too. So, dado planes. They come in all different sizes.
If you found this helpful, give it the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, because that way you get to know when new videos are coming out. And I uh, hope you head out to your shop. Go make some shavings. Walter out.